Hi everybody! Today I'm going to read you one of my favourite ever books called The Incredible Book Eating Boy. And this book is written by Oliver Jeffers. You might know a few of the other books that he's written as well. So, The Incredible Book Eating Boy. And the illustrations are lovely in this book as well, so I hope you can see. Henry loved books, but not like you and I love books. No, not quite. Henry loved to eat books. It all began quite by mistake one afternoon when he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't sure at first and tried eating a single word just to test. Next, he tried a whole sentence and then the whole page. Yes, Henry definitely liked them. But by Wednesday, he had eaten the whole book. Ooh, I don't think it would taste very nice. And by the end of the month, he could eat a whole book in one go. You see him. Henry loved eating all sorts of books. Story books, dictionaries, atlases, joke books, books of facts, even maths books. But red ones were his favourite. And he was going through them at a fierce rate. But here is the best bit. The more he ate, the smarter he got. I can see that he's tried eating this book here. Can you see? He's munched a bit of a whole lot of it. He ate a book about goldfish and then he knew what to feed Ginger. But before long, he could do his father's crossword in the newspaper and was even smarter than his teacher in school. Henry loved being smart. He thought that if he kept going, he might even become the smartest person on earth. So he kept eating books and he kept getting smarter and smarter and smarter. He went from eating books whole to eating them three or four at a time. Books about anything. Henry wasn't fussy and he wanted to know it all. But then things started going not quite so well. In fact, they started going very, very wrong. Henry was eating too many books and too quickly at that. Bite, chew, 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 gulp, green. <gasps> Greener, greenest. Oh dear. He was beginning to feel a little ill. But here is the worst bit. Everything he was learning was getting mixed up and he didn't have time to digest it properly. It became quite embarrassing for him to speak. All of his words are getting muddled up. Suddenly, Henry didn't feel very smart at all. More than one person told him he should stop eating books. So, Henry gave up eating books and sat sadly for a long time. What was he to do? Then, after a while, and almost by accident, Henry picked up a half-eaten book from the floor. But instead of putting it in his mouth, Henry opened it up and began to read. And it was so good. Henry discovered that he loved to read and he thought that if he read enough, he might still become the smartest person on earth. It would just take a little bit longer. Now Henry reads all the time, although every now and again, he's gobbled it up so he likes to have a chew every now and again. I hope you like that story. That's one of my favourites. Thank you. See you later.